Lake Combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hello YouTube, it is Farmhand Mike bringing you a video from Kroll, Texas. I am out here with Walgamuth Brothers LLC out of Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. These guys farm and do some custom harvesting back in Pennsylvania and they also come out west to go on the wheat run. They've been doing this for many years and this is their first stop of the season. This is a good crew here and was able to get out here, talk to them a little bit, look at the machines and so forth as they were getting ready to move out to the field. Unfortunately, since it was really cloudy out here, it was humid, there's been a lot of rain. These guys did not get to cut any wheat this day, so I really have no footage of these guys other than moving the combines and the machinery out to the field. Kroll, Texas, or as it's spelled, Crow, Texas, that's how I heard everyone pronounce it out here was Kroll. Anyways, this is a small Texas town west of Vernon, Texas with a population of just under a thousand people. This is located in Ford County and this town is the county seat. You can see over there the campers, that's where a lot of the custom harvesters pull their campers and hang out while they're in town here. But this is kind of the area where the wheat harvest kicks off down in this part of Texas. And as the wheat ripens, these crews will move north. In the lineup here for Wogglemuth is their three Case International 7250 combines, all with Macdon FD140 Draper heads. And also in the video, you're going to see their Case International 280 tractor pulling a Brent 1196 grain cart. Once everything was moved out to the field and set up, ready to go, just waiting on the wheat to dry, I stood around and visited with the crew quite a bit, and we were talking about custom harvesting the years through harvesting. And the one Walgamuth brother remembers, I asked him the first year he would have done this, and he said when he come down here the first time, that's when the Massey Ferguson 510 Combine was a new machine, and that's what he remembers cutting with down here, and then moving up to like the 760 and so forth. These guys have run some Masseys, they've run Gleaners, and now Case International. And I believe they told me back in Pennsylvania they have a New Holland CR combine in their line up there. These guys will start out here in Texas, they'll move up to Oklahoma, over to Tribune, Kansas, and then they'll work their way up to Kimball, Nebraska. Then they'll jump over into Idaho, got a couple stops over in Idaho. I'm hoping to catch up with them out there later on this summer. And then they'll come back to Kimball, Nebraska, harvest some fall crops, and then get everything moved back to Pennsylvania and harvest back there in the fall. And do you guys see that unidentified flying object up there in the sky? take a couple minutes and watch these guys uh, unhook the headers from the back of the combine, put them on the combine, and take them out of the transport mode in the field mode. These Macdon heads are pretty slick the way this uh, low speed transport kit works here as you're going to see.
The primary farming in this area is growing wheat, and there's some cotton and hay, and lots of cattle. After this wheat is harvested, a lot of these farms are going to come in here and they're going to work these fields immediately. I'm just driving around the block here in the town of Kroll, and here's a farmer's lineup of his tillage equipment and some of his tractors. But like I said, once the wheat comes off, when the fields are dry, they're going to come in here, they're going to disc, chisel, plow, rip, and so forth, and they're going to work these fields throughout the summer. A lot of this ground will get planted back into winter wheat, and then over the winter, once the wheat's up, they're going to graze cattle on here all winter. I've talked about that in other videos. That's really big down in this part of Texas, up into Oklahoma, and even south-central Kansas. And then, say, March, when the wheat starts growing good again, when it looks like it's going to make a grain crop, they'll pull the cattle off and then hold out till harvest here and do it all over again. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. hope you enjoyed it. Just a short video. Like I said, the weather didn't cooperate today, so no wheat cutting here. But I hope to catch up with these guys later on in the summer. Feel free to comment below. Hit that like button. If you're new to finding my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting my social media. I still have a couple more wheat harvest videos coming from this area that I got up in Oklahoma, not very far away from here. Stay tuned for those. Remember this video here? This was right across the road from where they had the combines parked. If you want to see more of what I'm doing and filming, you can also find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Farmhand Mike.